Hi Rachel, this is Tom. Chris asked me to record how I constructed the netting for my chicken run and um, I'm just out with my camera to show you real quick. Uh, the poles I'm using are one half inch electrical conduit. They're found in the electrical section of the Home Depot. Um, I ha had to pick up a pipe bender and I sent you a picture of that. I put two bends in the pole about 50 inches, 60 inches up, and there's one here and then there's one here, and I did it that way so that I could ease the bend and it wouldn't kink the pole under stress. Um, there's three poles making a 20 foot span. The, the only bends I put are at the top of the post. The center pole is just bent under the stress. To connect the three poles together, I used these compression fittings. They're real simple to use. A uh, pole goes into each end of this, and then you crank down on these nuts with a pair of channel locks, and they squeeze the pole, and they hold it really firmly in place. Again, this is also found in the Home Depot's electrical section with the conduit. And then to attach them to the post, I'm using these one inch two hole straps and it just, I use stainless steel screws to go into the fence post with those. Um, if you bend and assemble three of them on the ground, then two people can force the whole thing in place and the middle will just bend on its own. This half inch stuff is pretty easy to bend. Now, I don't know how the half inch is gonna stand up to a violent windstorm. It could be that I needed to use the three quarter inch. I just didn't wanna buy a three quarter inch pipe bender and the stuff is more expensive too, so I'm hoping I can get away with half inch. To attach the netting to the fence cap, I wove a piece of 550 cord or paracord through the net and then I would bundle the net up under it and I just kind of kept wet, wrapping and weaving and pulling it through. I used eye bolts every so, I don't know, every four feet or so to um, attach it to the underside of the fence. This was time consuming but it's held up really well to all the wind and everything else. Um, another thing you have to think about is snow load. This netting I used is uh, fairly dense and if I had to do it again, I would use a lighter netting that didn't hold snow as well as this. Um, you can see what happened to the PVC when we got a good snowfall this year, which I'm not surprised. Um, I think that's it. Get the paracord off Amazon. You can get a spool of 500 feet pretty cheaply. And then I think when I finally have the rest of the conduit in place holding everything up, I'll run paracord down the length tying the conduit together so that there's a structure holding the net up in between the poles too. But for right now, this is working pretty well. All right, I hope that's everything. Please just give me a call if um, there's anything I didn't cover or my video isn't clear. Thanks, bye.